life doesn't matter. Um, well, your life may not matter, but mine sure does, and my friends' lives matter. And yeah, I'd like to consider about why life, the people that are alive, are the scientists, and we're the ones that try and figure things out. And we are looking for life, not because it's the most important thing in the universe, but because it helps determine how our life may have come about. And if it's life that was before us, actually where our life may be going if it is a deteriorating life. So the things that you talk about in history, the important things, the, the, the things that matter through the continuum of time are all based on life. Because without life, there is no history. Without life, there is no record. There is no way of quantifying, of uh, analyzing anything of the things that, that you like. So without life, there is no reason. And without reason, there is no sense. And without sense, we have your videos because they seem kind of senseless. You're out there arguing about things with a tone that... Uh, makes people think that you would know what you're talking about. Um, I love the thing you did uh, before on barriers about, you know, talking about eth ethnicity. God, I mean, you must have driven away a third of your audience there by talking about the Mexicans standing around their car and then finally realizing that uh, they weren't playing dice, they weren't playing cards, they needed that uh, car in between them so they didn't pull out a shiv and start stabbing each other. You know, that's racial. That is horrible. I mean, how can you well, what profile people like that? Salespeople don't need desks in between them and customers because desks are barriers. You're right. Not to keep people from hurting each other, but to pe keep people from getting to know each other. The barriers that we build as a society, whether you call them tables, whether you call them maces, whether you call them desks, whether you put somebody on the other side of a bulletproof pane, they are the things that get in the way of people getting to know each other and getting to like each other rather than keeping people from killing each other. Your social premise is that people can't get along and if there were no barriers between them, they would kill each other. And I totally disagree with that. I think that you're an idiot if you think that, because I think if there were no barriers between people, they could actually open up, discuss things, get to know each other better, and at that point, start to like each other. Find that they have similarities rather than just differences. Find that they can coexist, that they can compromise and get things done together. But you want them to have barriers in between them because it fosters your belief that people are basically bad. You know, as an atheist and, and you know, okay, conservative Christian, I don't even know who the guy is you're talking about. I've never seen him, but I'm a Christian, but I'm not conservative. I mean, I, I believe that, yeah, kids need things in life. Uh, that's what parents give them, you know food, education, you know, morals, that's what parents do for their kids. And then when the time comes, they turn them loose and hopefully they uh, can make up their own minds and make decisions that are right, that don't injure other people. But you don't care about that. You just want people to injure people. You think that everybody's out to get somebody else, so they have to have a barrier in between them. I don't think you're right. I really don't think you're right. Matter of fact, I think you are innocuous. I think that you try to elicit conflict and hatred in people, and I find it totally appalling. I appreciate your right to do that, and I'm glad you're out there showing, thinking, reasoning people that there are idiots in the world that think like you do. And keep it up, because, you know, Sooner or later, there's going to be more people like me that just realize it. Whatever you say, or at least 80-90% of what you say, it's not right. It's wrong. It's the wrong side of the story. It's the wrong attitude. It's not the do-be attitude. It's the don't-be attitude.
your glass isn't even half full, baby. <laughs>